Um, hello, uh, my name is Daria Sabulska. I'm the Director of Programs at Wikimedia UK. And I'll be presenting research that I did uh, last year with my colleague Agnes Brusik. Um, the aim is of this short session is to present a broad narrative that could be used for advocacy uh, for our work. And it connects Wikimedia activities with digital skills and civil society. I hope it can also be a um, inspiration for other groups, affiliates, um, of how to um, pick ideas for, for research based on your uh, strategic framework. So let's start the slides. Um, so this is just a 15 minute session. Um, I'm not sure I'll have questions, uh, time for questions, but do feel free to drop them in the etherpad or on the chat or contact me. Um, the details are on the uh, slide. Um, if you follow the QR code, it will send you to my slides as well. So you can copy content from there if you like. Um, I'm very mindful this is almost the end of the conference. Uh, so many thanks for joining and uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, next slide. So let me start with the conclusion of the research, the sort of top line that um, we arrived at. Um, our research showed that Wikimedia programs teach participants information literacy and that higher information literacy can significantly increase citizen engagement in democratic processes. Meaning if you have a uh, higher information literacy, it makes you a more active, engaged citizen. In the full research, uh, we've uh, done a lot of analysis and kind of explaining uh, terms such as information literacy, various literacy frameworks, democracy. Um, I won't get into all of that, but just for this presentation, I want to uh, explain one key term. For me, civil society means all the activities of citizens in which they take collective action uh, for social good, independently of government or business. Uh, next slide. Uh, for a little bit of uh, background of how I arrived at working on, on this. Um, so uh, I work at Wikimedia UK and um, my inspiration is our strategic framework, which is uh, a vision of a more informed, democratic and equitable society through open knowledge. Uh, the mission is to enable people to engage with open knowledge uh, and access reliable information to be more, um, to have more understanding of the world and make uh, good decisions. And we also have a number of um, long term outcomes, um, of which the important ones are um, that we reflect, Wikimedia reflects our diverse society, that our work has increased free ethical access to knowledge and that our work has supported the development of high levels of information literacy. And for me, as a program director, I think about designing activities, programs that speak to this strategy. And so I was thinking, how can I show that um, our work is supporting information literacy and that in turn it creates a more equitable uh, democratic society? Uh, so that was my sort of impetus to look at this. And uh, next slide. And the other, the other thing is uh, the global context, really, of the shrinking civil society space, meaning that it seems that there is fewer and fewer spaces where citizens can develop uh, and practice key civic skills, such as collaboration, self-representation, a work within diversity and difference of opinion. Um, and I think our work provides that sort of a space, um, which means that it's quite important we can uh, continue talking about it and continue protecting and uh, offering that space. So 
onto the research itself. Uh, next slide. And just to say, when I when I when I say research, we did a lot of uh, desk analysis, uh, analyzing materials, uh, papers that have been done so far, and a lot of interviews with participants of, of Wikimedia case uh, programs. And uh, through all of this, we uh, concluded that we can evidence that participating in Wikimedia programs increases information literacy. And when I say Wikimedia programs is any sort of typical um, activities that we do, like uh, editing training, um, editathons, um, explaining Wikimedia ecosystem to others, essentially getting them to, to participate. So um, the key, the key elements of information literacy that we've uh, focused on, and I'll, I'll talk you through those four elements. Um, the first one is uh, understanding content, meaning content, meaning ideas, uh, opinions, facts, um, and where that content comes from. So evaluating the trustworthiness of, of information, verifying the information, so uh, finding the original source, fast fact checking, checking against other information. Uh, so that's the first area. Second is um, applying critical thinking skills, analyzing, detecting bias, evaluating, synthesizing, and uh, reflecting on the impact of false information on society. Uh, then there is using collaborative and group learning skills. Um, like communication, problem solving, teamwork, and lastly, encouraging civic disposition, which is uh, a big, a big uh, phrase, but it means things like respecting diversity of opinion or taking personal responsibility for your behavior online. And I'm sure you can see as I talk for those areas that um, participating in wiki editing or or learning those skills hit all four of those areas like anybody who is um, uh, participating in a wiki editing training would develop information literacy skills based on how our project is structured uh, so that's the first area like our work builds information literacy skills and then on to the second area uh, next slide we can also evidence that our work helps strengthen civil society and democratic processes. And again, uh, we've identified four areas in which this happens. Uh, the first is that um, Wikimedia overall provides open and free access to information. We facilitate the capturing and sharing of um, historical and cultural um, memory um, and this is particularly important when we capture knowledge that has been underrepresented um, which means that we can redress the imbalance of, of representation of marginalized groups. Second, like uh, we said already, our work improves information literacy skills um, this can help fight mis and disinformation, um, and um, through that, work against systemic bias, which then means we can build more tolerance and cultural understanding across diverse groups. Uh, then we encourage uh, we can encourage volunteering. Um, working on Wikimedia provides opportunity for anybody to self-organize, self-represent, learn useful skills, become active members of a democratic society. And then lastly, we provide accessible collaborative infrastructure. This point's a little meta, but what I mean is that our programs are delivered within the Wikimedia ecosystem, which uses collaborative tools and draws on consensus-based community decision-making process. And so when participants, learners, editors um, kind of um, participate and use that system, they gain direct experience of 
navigating that sort of community decision making process um participation online which means that they build civic engagement skills for wiki but also skills that can be used elsewhere um i think those four areas are useful for for anybody for any groups but i think they're particularly important for uh, marginalized groups um, when we did interviews for for this for this research, we talked to some uh, refugee groups, and they said that um, participating on Wikimedia and sharing their content gives them opportunity to maintain cultural identity and share something, self represent in a way that wouldn't be possible otherwise. Which I think is very powerful. Now, this is in an ideal Wikimedia world, I guess, where we've reached uh, knowledge equity and the, our community is particularly inviting to, um, to those groups. But the hope is there. And so last, uh, next slide. Um, so this is the core of the argument. And at Wikimedia UK, we've been thinking about how to use that for our advocacy work essentially and we came up with a number of recommendations uh, that we're going to be using and um, so those recommendations are that uh, we recommend that definitions of information literacy uh, at a national level promote the importance of information literacy for democratic participation that the culture of that democratic participation is embedded in formal uh, education curricula because we found that it's not always included and we think it's important. And Wikimedia could be used as a way of demonstrating that process of civic engagement. Um, and uh, we recommend that uh, information literacy resources from Wikimedia are harnessed in education programs because we on our projects not only have a lot of um, educational content as such, but also a lot of information uh, and knowledge about information literacy itself, like uh, referencing, you know, citations, verifiability, uh, reliability, and, and so on. And um, we also came up with a number of recommendations for our partner organizations, because a lot of our work is done in partnership with cultural or educational organizations. And uh, those are that um, organizations should organize wiki volunteering activities as a way of promoting civic engagement. And that can be um, prompting civic engagement both online and offline as well, actually. Uh, we also recommend that uh, the organization support marginalized groups to harness the skills gained through any wiki training uh, so they can learn how to share their cultural heritage, self-organize, self-represent, and develop any other skills that can help them become members of a, of a democratic society. And then lastly, that uh, the organizations support citizens to tackle systemic biases on Wikipedia so that the project more accurately um, reflects our society. So, um, to put the, the research and the conclusion of it in another way, uh, participating in Wikimedia projects can facilitate a spirit of working together uh, towards a common good of the goal of, of free knowledge for all. And it can facilitate collaboration with others, activism, which in the long run encourages an empowered civil society. And this can go some way, I hope, to realize the Wikimedia UK vision of a more informed, democratic and equitable civil society. And so on to the last slide. And so that's all I have. <laughs> um, um, the QR code on the slide uh, sends you to a PDF with a summary of the research. Uh, and so does this, this short link. But um, in a few weeks' time, I'll have a full publication uh, that, that will be nicely designed that can be shared with, with people. So if this is um, of interest, 
please get in touch with me or watch this space. I'll, I'll be sure to promote the uh, research when the project is, when the publication is ready. Um, so I think we're at time. I'm having a quick look at the etherpad, but I'm not seeing anything there. I will have a look at the chat as well, um, <laughs> which is busy, but I think I'll, I'll have a look at that uh, in a second and respond the best I can um, once we've concluded the session. Thank you.